I decided to start from Schism song meaning because it's one of the most complex and controversial of the Ola the Rattles album. Although many people give Schism different hidden messages like political conspiracy or even religious plots regarding the life of Christ itself, you may find the song meaning to be pretty straightforward and simple if you stay close to the lyrics and give them a direct interpretation without rambling the fuck on and purposely looking for ominous hidden messages as many idiots do. Like other songs from the album Lateralis, it does not express a precise meaning, but gives you a concept, which is applicable to a big variety of contexts, like the grudge, the patient, and Lateralis' song itself do. The concept here is a human relationship, a relationship of any kind, either being a friendship, a political or working partnership, or a love story, as I like to think of it. So, schism some meaning is about a time of crisis in a human relationship. Schism means division, split. And don't come and say me this song is a downer and Tool does pessimist and negative lyrics. Fucking Porcupine Tree does that. What you find in Tool's lyrics are one of the most positive, instructive, educational ideas you are to find in the all modern music industry. The song begins with an introductory picture which immediately outlines the current situation. An extremely evocative image which definitely blows my fucking mind every time I hear it. I know the pieces fit cause I watched them fall away. Something was going pretty damn good. Your relationship was working flawlessly, it was positive and enjoyable. You know it was. The pieces used to fit, but now they do not anymore. Something ruined the beautiful equilibrium of your relationship. What exactly you're gonna find later. So that is fell away. Now the relationship is mildewed like it's old and smoldering like it already has provided all the energy you could. Now it's not burning anymore. And fundamental differing. The two counterparts do not have the same synergy. They do not get along well anymore. And maybe they weren't said to be so from the beginning, as the word fundamental suggests. That's a key concept we are going to resolve later. Don't forget that. But how did the beautiful relationship begin? Pure intention juxtaposed will set two lovers' souls in motion. It begins just by means of pure intention. The intention may be love or the willing to achieve a mutual goal together, without taking into account the fundamental differences present since the beginning. Disintegrating as it goes, testing our communication. You've just heard the main key word in schism song meaning, communication. Here's a past and the intention which gave birth to the nice relationship has slowly disintegrated. So the two counterparts start feeling more and more burden of the fundamental differences. These differences are intrinsic in their personality. They are just born this way, but of course, not each one of them is gonna be utterly accepted by the Padna. They have to communicate, to express themselves, clearly sharing their feelings and needs in order to understand how to regain the beautiful equilibrium they had. But that's hard. Communication is not as easy as it sounds, so the two counterparts' communication skills are being put under a hard test. The light that fueled our fire then has burned a hole between us. Paradoxically, the very energy which made our love, friendship or partnership grow and shine, leading us to a peaceful and prolific time being, is the very one which is now destroying us with opposite and equal strength. That's a pretty obvious statement Maynard makes about the bipolar nature of human feelings. So we cannot seem to reach an end, crippling our communication. This extremely powerful energy is a big obstacle against our capability of proper communication. Just think about two lovers which love so much they just cannot manage to be perfectly honest and sincere for fear of harming each other. So they just cannot reach an end, an agreement, a conclusion to fix the situation. I know the pieces fit because I watched them tumble down. No fault, none to blame. The letter sentence points out again that no one is to blame for the current crisis. 
The fundamental differences, as I said before, are innate. So, the fact that they are threatening the relationship's harmony and cohesion is just natural. It doesn't mean I don't desire to point the finger, blame the other, watch the temple topple over. Nevertheless, I am feeling the compelling urge to blame the other person, blame his behavior, blame his ideas, blame his fundamental differences, deciding they are wrong without questioning mine. That's way easier if you think about it, easier than working on myself. And that's a great way to release the tension and pain I am feeling during this moment as it is to destroy completely the relationship. Watch the temple topple over. To finally put an end on this suffering and feeling liberated. Of course, that is a destructive and negative way to cope with the situation. The constructive and correct one is strongly suggested in the following sentence, which gives you the solution to restore this harmonious equilibrium. To bring the pieces back together, rediscover communication. Until now, many are has had a rather pragmatical approach to the relationship mechanism. What comes next is a more sentimental, almost romantic point of view. The poetry that comes from the squaring off between. Not necessarily squaring off, confronting, arguing, even fighting must be rude, unpleasant, harsh, though how much pain is gonna be involved. It could be a poetic intercourse, in Maynard's opinion, and how can we not agree? And the circling is worth it. All the hard work and study and pain is worth it, for our was a wonderful relationship and finding beauty in the distance. Wow, just wow, I do not think there's any need to analyze and explain this last beautiful touching sentence. I've done the math and now to know the dangers of our second guessing. I've not developed yet my interpretation of this last sentence. I have some ideas which I'm not going to share with you because I'm not sure about them. If you'd like to help me find a proper meaning to that statement, please leave a comment below. Doomed to crumble unless we grow and strengthen our communication. Stressing for the last time the importance of communication as a solution for the crisis. Cold silence has a tendency to atrophy any sense of compassion. One of the many examples in tool discography where music matches and reinforces the lyrics messages. Sounds become dark, gloomy, voice is expressing pain. We are not communicating and silence leads to feeling detached from each other and slowly inhibiting the good feelings that once constitute our relationship. between supposed lovers. Here Maynard's singing becomes a devastated and suffering scream, pointing out how the love could certainly exist between the two splitting up souls, so the schism would be a terrible shame. I know the pieces fit. That last statement is repeated many times with increasing strength. It represents a battle to overcome the crisis, to improve communication, to faithfully work harder and harder to restore the relationship's peaceful equilibrium. He is actually repeating himself that he fucking knows, he knows that the pieces fit, so he knows they can be put back in place, he knows everything can work out, he knows that harmony can come back to embrace the relationship, he knows that he has to repeat it himself continuously to believe in that for the battle to be won. Really, really amazing. Something very similar happens toward the end of The Patient, which we are going to discuss in another future video. So, what's schism about? It's about a time of crisis in a human relationship, generated by fundamental differences and the importance of mastering communication in order to solve them. Meanwhile, try to find beauty in the distance.